what do you look for in order to go for fossil hunting? Well, the first thing you need to do is just to find sedimentary rocks. That's where rocks have been laid down in the ocean or in rivers or in lakes. And then just you need outcrop then as well. You need where like cliffs along beaches or up creek beds or river beds or say on farms, tracks or in farms where they have bluffs. And you can look along the outcrop and look for fossils. When I've been looking along the coast at South Taranaki, you find a lot of these clams. And one of those days when I was walking along the beach, just, just looking for various fossils, I came across a bone in the shore platform. And that's where the sea had washed away the sand and the, the rocks and exposing the platform. And that's where I found the first bony tooth bird bone. If you're going on to farmland or private property, you need to ask the landowner uh, and get their permission, which can be quite good because they may know of spots where to go where they've seen fossils, or they may have fossils that they have seen and collected around the, the back of the house. But if they say no, respect it, because there's a very good reason that they don't want people around on their farms. Other places to look for fossils are quarries, Although with the recent accidents and stuff in quarries and the new regulations with WorkSafe and so forth, getting into quarries is becoming harder and harder. Road cuts can be another area, place to look for fossils, but you need quiet roads or backcountry roads. Main roads can be a problem with traffic. You've got to watch out for cliffs because they fall. Even in roadside outcrops they fall. In slips and bad weather they slide down quite dramatic and it doesn't take much of a size of a rock if it hits you on the head to kill you. So you have to be careful no matter where you are and sort of think safe all the time and tell someone where you're going or go with, with people that they can keep an eye on you and and you have to watch too along the coast tides. It's a, I usually go three hours either side of maximum low tide because you're not sort of pinned up against the cliffs because cliffs do fall. There's some massive big cliff falls have been along the Taranaki coast and people have lost their lives over the years 